you know, in terms of Magic the Gathering, um, you know, that seems to be growing and, and, and releasing more and more sets. What do you think is, is going to be the future for Mag Magic the Gathering? Is it going to stay more uh, in, you know, more online? Is it going to gravitate to that or is it going to stay, you know, the community, the trading card game, the local gaming store? Is that going to be around? Well, I would say actually there's more tournaments online than anything. Tournaments are in daily. Mm -hmm. uh, whether that's arena because arena does have its place to play older formats like um, modern vintage and legacy which you know aren't modern is highly support martin's a massive format mm -hmm. um but they just released pioneer a new set well pioneers from like the last 10 years or so maybe no i'm sorry maybe last yeah. five years yeah. well bigger car pools gets the harder it is to get access to cards which again that's why they print all these cards Magic's in such a great spot right now because they're they've adapted. They've removed their dogmatic ways of every every three months we have a set. Here's your set. That's pretty much it. Here's some poopy pre cons. We never print anything that's high dollar in any of this stuff. That's completely changed now. Mm -hmm. Wizards is actively affect, affecting the secondary market. Oh and yeah, it's 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 completely different. They've oh, got yeah. some really smart people in their front office now that listen to their customer base that pay attention to numbers, that give you fun and exciting things to do. And you can play Magic every any way you really want to. And that's something that they didn't do for a while. It was you had your LGS and your Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. that, that was, was it. it. Yeah. And maybe like states and regionals. You know, pretty bland stuff. You can play online. You can play from whether it's Arena to Magic Online to in paper. They have tons of events. Um, they changed the way their WPN structure is, which is Wiz Wizards Play Network. Mm -hmm. So it's completely changed. It's super in depth. You, you, and then now they have these things called uh, Magic Fest, which is the Grand Prix format. But they have the Grand Prix. But you go there, it's a festival. Like that's it's, pretty sick. You literally can play Magic from as soon as the tournament starts till the end. They have Commander. <laughs> they have Popper. They have Drafts. Everything's yeah. on demand and it's firing every thirty minutes. I mean, I went there just to go experience and not play the main event. I had more fun playing side events. I mean, I won 3,100 tickets playing side events. That's equating to about $1,000. Jeez. And then their prize cases are you can have old cards, deck boxes, booster boxes, m master sets, <laughs> artwork, anything you want. Like, I fold out almost uh, an entire standard deck, you know, yeah. with like 40 and $50 foil mythic rares. That's I mean, that's sick. crazy, right? Like. Yeah. And then the vendors, the experience, Magic's completely different than how it used to be. It's it's really wow. a community, and Commander really helped shape a lot of that. And that's one thing that I don't think any other card game has is Commander. Yeah, Commander's a unique format, right? Because it's like one of each card, right? And it's like what? A, how many cards in the deck? Like a hundred. Hundred card singleton. You have ninety nine cards mm -hmm. in your main deck, and you have your one Commander card, which is a legendary creature or a planeswalker that is stated as it could be your commander. It is actually the most popular format in Magic the Gathering. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's actually, I did not know that. That's it's, actually something that's huge. It surpasses standard, pioneer, and modern. So is there a specific format that you enjoy, I guess, the most in terms of tournament play? Tournament play? Um, I like standard because standard's ever-changing, mm -hmm. but I also like competitive commander now. I mean, it's great. It's imagine um remember watching Yu Gi Oh as a kid and like yugi always had like the card that he needed at <laughs> yeah. all times and you felt like their decks were like a hundred cards and they it's like how, how come he has all these different cards in his deck that's what commander is <laughs> it, that's a good way. It, it really is and you yeah. really get to collect cards that you love based on your deck style and really i mean you got a lot of like deck room with a hundred cards yeah that's and insane. it's really cool and it's super fun. And you would think I would not like something like that. And for a while, I was kind of like, meh. But I really enjoyed it. You know, uh, for Christmas, my client and my best friend, Christian, got me uh, a dual land, a Taiga. Well, that's on the reserve list. I mean, that's a very expensive magic card. Yeah. And then Kelsey, my girlfriend, got me a Badlands for Christmas. I mean, A, that's a great investment because they only go up in value. They yeah. don't ever drop. Exactly. Excellent investment. And uh, they went into my commander deck. I mean, as silly as it sounds, when I draw them, I'm like, dude, this is this is sweet. This is something someone <laughs> gave me. Like, it means something to me. Yeah. So, but I like, I love standard. I love Pioneer. It's a new format. Um, mm -hmm. Wizards is actively morphing that and and being aggressive with it. They're not like hmm. making it toxic. They're they 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 told you up front, we're gonna release this format. We're gonna let the players shape the format, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll step in and 
ban cards aggressively. We're letting the players basically be the testing front for it, opposed to people who don't really play Magic up in an office. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then Modern is, you know, a large part of my time in Magic, and I play Modern fairly competitive. Modern's really hard to get into because the cards are so expensive. But, again, they're aggressively printing cards to make Modern accessible because it is such a popular format. So I like it all. Yeah. I mean, I like limited, draft, popper, you name it. I just I have enjoyed it, Magic completely on a different axis versus mm -hmm. just standard. Yeah, that's really awesome, man. I, I Honestly, I, I haven't played Magic in such a long time. The I think the fact that uh, there's so many different formats is something that's kind of intimidating for me, kind of trying to maybe even come back. Because I thought about downloading Magic Arena. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I really did, and I, I think I'm going to, to be real honest. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. It, the way that you just kind of sold Magic the Gathering, definitely interested to kind of get back into that. 